What is up, Looter Gang? Looter97 here with a quick tutorial on how I stream on Facebook using Elgato HD on my MacBook Pro. Let me show you this quick diagram on how to set up your Elgato first. So this is your PlayStation 4. You connect your PlayStation 4 HDMI to your Elgato. And then in the output, you connect your HDMI to your TV. Then connect the Elgato USB to your MacBook. And then grab your chat link. Connect that to your controller. And you must have a wired headset to connect to your chat link. The chat link, what it does, it enables your viewers to hear your teammates and also enables you to hear the game and your teammates on the headset. Then you need a separate mic. I use a Razer. Connect that to your Mac. Then a separate camera. Connect that to your Mac. And you're all set with the setup on the Elgato HD 60. Leave that here if you want to pause it. All right. Now, to download the software to your computer, go to elgato.com. Elgato.com. On the top right, it says downloads. You click on downloads. Go to Game Catcher for a Mac. Hit the download. It's going to go to your download list. When it's done completing, you open it. We can exit out Safari. Now it says to drag your Game Capture HD to your application, but you can just drag it to your desktop. Exit out of this. Once it's on your desktop, and you got you know your Elgato set up from this diagram, you can open this up. And we're in the Elgato HD 60 software. Now, if it didn't link up and it has like a triangle here, just click on it and just click on the one that doesn't have the triangle. And then it should be like this, the PlayStation 4 here with the, with the capture here. All right, let's start with device. Click on tools, capture. Your input should be PlayStation 4. Your input uh, should be HDMI. Check mark with analog so it can capture the audio. HDMI color range should be standard. Profile, I use HD 720. I don't have allow 60 frames per second as it makes me lag for some reason. Quality, I always have it in the middle of good and better. Works perfectly fine for me. Crop, none, and these are not check mark. We go picture, default, you don't have to touch this. Audio, default, you don't have to touch it. Profile, you don't have to touch profiles. And an advance, you don't have to touch advance. It's default to two. After that, click OK. Now we're done with devices. Going on to game audio. Game audio, you just put a video on your PlayStation 4, click this little unmute button right here, and you will be able to hear the sound and you can adjust it. Live stream, this is how you get your live stream to Facebook. You click on this little plus, go to Facebook, type in your email, password, check mark keep me signed in, and click login, and your name should pop up here on Facebook. Now, I keep my bitrate to 225 because it runs smooth and no lag. If you want to run it like that, it all depends on your upload speed of your internet. To check that out, all you have to do is go to Safari, type in Google, test internet, click speed test by Okla. Okla. Click go. Just let it do his analyzing. 
ping is 26 which is very good very good download speed is looks like it's about 91 yep upload speed this is what you have to go by so my upload speed is about 22 23 Ooh. upload speed is 22 so in reality go to game capture and just put this all the way to to four megabytes per second but i listen to music as i stream on youtube like I, I uh, go to Safari and I have YouTube pulled up and I listen to music from YouTube while I stream on Facebook. So I just keep my upload speed to 225 so it doesn't use up all the upload speed. You know what I'm saying? Live stream is done. Live commentary. You just go on to here and you pick up your mic. My mic is the Razer Serene X. So I click on it. And again to adjust the volume size uh, sound you just unmute it so you can listen to your voice and just mess with it here automatically reduce game sound if you want this check mark so like that your game gets lowered every time you talk you can have it you just click on check i don't recommend it though it's pretty useless <laughs> this i leave it on default Sounds pretty good there. You can mess with it, you know, to each his own. Tags, video title. I have my video title there. Game. I ha play Fortnite every single day, so I type in Fortnite. And description. Type your little description here. I have just links to my social media so they can go check it out. I have giveaway information. I have my... Make sure you have your, uh, your page links because... When people shared um, shares your your live streams, they don't really click on your page. They just see it from your share. So if you have your page linked in your description, they can easily navigate to your page. And um, that's about it for for the settings. Tags you don't really have to use tags, but you can. I have Fortnite, PS4, Elgato, Facebook, Gaming, Video Creator, Gaming, Gamer, Live, and uh, what's the last one? Streams. You don't really have to do that. and I didn't see no like difference when I go live with the tags, but you can, you know. So this is this is how you go live. So right here, you see stream, you click on it. You click which live event you would like to stream on. And obviously you want to look for your page you want to stream on. So mine is right here. Lily97. And once that's clicked on, I just click OK. Once you click OK, it will go right to Facebook. You don't have to do nothing else. You're live once you click OK. That's, um, that's the dopest part because if you didn't have that, you would have to do it manually on Facebook, which is hectic because then you have to rewrite everything every time you go live. But Elgato got you covered. <laughs> Commentary, if you don't want people, like say you're ordering food and you're about to say your address and you don't want them to hear you, you can just click on little blue commentary and that turns off your mic. And then just turn it back on, boop. All right, and that's about it. That's how you stream on Facebook using Elgato HD60 and how to set up your Elgato HD60. For more information or you like got any questions, just comment down below. You know, and hope you enjoyed. Hope I helped. Like, follow, share. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Alright guys, uh, I almost forgot something. So to see your live stream and like comments and all that stuff for Facebook, you just type in Facebook Gaming slash Streamer. And then this takes you to the streamer dashboard and this is the place where you can see everything that's going on for the stream. So you have like alerts, who shared it, this and that. 
you have your comments you have your stars here who sent you stars um, your top star senders and you can even set your goals and all that and polls and all that on this page already that's it peace Becomes a free tonight the DJ makes his move under the sweat drops from the roof. It's time to let the best be hard. You know it all the now the party. Just take it there, you energy.